So first, let's teleport to this waypoint. And we're heading left on the minimap. And here we're going to climb up on this mountain. And take your time to climb if you are short with stamina. And here's our first one. After that, we are going towards top right on the minimap. We are heading towards this direction. And this one is near the cliff. Alright, next one, we are going to teleport to this waypoint. And we are heading top left on the minimap. And this one is up in the air. Okay, let's first clear the monsters. And we are going to take an animal granar on the ground. Come to this dandelion and use your traveler's E skill and this will create a wind current which you can use to glide up. Right next we are going towards top left on the map and come to this cliff and you will see three animal slimes and behind them there's the animoculi Alright next we are going to teleport to this waypoint and we are heading top right on the minimap And this one is on top of this stone pillar. So clear the monsters. And after that, let's teleport to this statue of the seven. And this one is right in front. After that, let's keep heading up on the minimap. And there's one between the trees. After that, we're going to head towards bottom right. And it's hidden behind one of these trees. There it is. Now let's teleport back to the Statue of the Seven. And the next one is on this tree. Then we're climbing to another branch. And we're heading towards right on the minimap. And this one is in the air. So climb up on this rock pillar and glide over. Now let's teleport back again to the Statue of the Seven. And let's offer the oculus that we have gathered so far to the statue and up the level. And after that, let's go downwards on the minimap. And you can see it from here already. Find an Animo Grana on the ground and switch to your traveler and use the E skill. 
Right next, let's teleport to this waypoint. And we are going top left on the mini map. And come to this cliff and we're going to glide down. And there's the one. After that, let's teleport back to this waypoint. And we're going to teleport to Musk Reef Island through this portal. But first, we're going to need to solve a puzzle where we need to find three sealies. And the first one is here on this hill. And the second one is near this tree. So follow it back to its place. And there are some electro slimes. So clear them. And we are heading up on the mini map. And there is our last Sealy. After that, a wind current will appear. So glide up and use this portal to arrive this island. And the Animoculi is on top of this domain. So come to the left side and climb up from here. Here you will find three animal grana. So collect them to create a wind current and glide over. Next, we are going to teleport to this domain. And we are heading to the left on the mini map. And come to this cliff and you can see this one here. And land on this platform because we are going to continue to glide to the left on the mini map. And the next one is inside this hub. After that, let's go back to the previous cliff. There are a few monsters here, so let's clear them. Alright now, let's come near this edge. And you will find this animoculi here. On the ground is protected by three layers of shields, but you can access it by gliding over. After that, let's keep heading up on the minimap. And here we're going to use the stairs to climb up. After that, let's teleport to this waypoint. And we are going top left on the mini map. Here, grab an animal grana and use your traveler's E skill. Right next, let's teleport to this domain. And the next one is right here. After that, let's go back. And the next one is floating up in the air. And we are going to glide up using this wind current. Okay, next let's teleport to this waypoint. And turn around and you will see the next one here. We are going to climb up on this tree to glide over. Now teleport back. And 
this time we are going to head up on the minimap. And you can see this one here. So glide over. And then keep heading up on the minimap. And this one is here. And we are heading left on the minimap. And you can see this one near the edge. After that, we are heading towards this position. And you can see it here. So glide over. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. And this one is up on this hill. So let's find a place to climb up. And here take an animal grana. And change to your traveler and use the E skill. Alright, after that, let's fly to this position. And this one is near the roof. Alright, next, let's teleport to this Statue of the Seven. And we are heading right on the minimap. And this one is up in the air. And near the trees here you will find an animal grana. So use your E skill and glide up. After that, let's glide to this cliff. And the next one is floating beneath this cliff. After that, let's head towards top right on the minimap. And this one is floating on the river. Right, now let's teleport back to this statue of the seven. And let's take the chance to offer the oculus. Then we are heading bottom left on the minimap and we are heading towards Dawn Winery and this one is on top of the building. After that we are heading downwards on the map. Climb up from here. And there's an Anemo pillar. And from here you can see the Oakley is floating up in the air. So use your traveler to activate the pillar. find an animal grana so use the E skill to generate a wind current and fly it up and follow the rings all right after that we are heading towards this position so glide over and you can see this one floating above the river Alright, next, let's teleport to this waypoint. And we are going downwards on the minimap. We are going to climb up from here. And you will see this one on the stone pillar. Use Amber or any Pyro character to remove the obstacle. And then we are heading up on the map. And this one is right here. You can either climb up on this tree or on the mountain and glide over. After that, we are heading towards top right on the map. This one is on this tree between the branches. 
then let's teleport to this domain. And we are going to head up on the map. And here you will see an animal slime and the animocular is under it. So clear the monster and it's revealed. After that we are heading to this position. So let's go bottom left on the mini map. And you can see this one here. So glide down to get it. Then we are going to move downwards on the map. It's near the edge. So from here climb up and you will see it laying on the ground. Alright after that let's teleport to this waypoint. tree so glide down slowly and on this tree you will also find a common chest but I also have a video on all the chests coming up so feel free to subscribe and stay tuned for that all right next we are going up on the map and you will find another rock pile so break it Next, we are going to teleport to this waypoint above us and we are moving top left on the mini map and come to this edge and you will see this one protected by a windshield. So glide and drop from above. And then we are moving up on the map. Here you will find a rock pile, break it and this one is hidden inside here. Alright after that let's teleport back to this waypoint. And this one is inside this wind current. After that we are going to glide towards this island on the lake. So use the wind current to glide up. And here you will find an animal pillar, so use your traveler to activate it. After this one, keep gliding towards bottom right on the mini map, and you will see this one here. Next, we are moving to Storm Terror's lair, so let's teleport to this waypoint first. And this one is up here, and use the wind current to get up here.
After that, let's go bottom right on the minimap. And here you will find an animal pillar. So use your traveler to activate it and ride the wind current up. And then we are going to go along this edge. All the way to here. And here you will find a tree. And we are going to glide slowly to this tower. And you will find the next Oculi inside this tower. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. And this one is up here. So we'll climb up from this side. Then we're heading right on the map. So we'll climb up from here and go past the challenge and you will see it. After that, let's teleport to this domain and turn around and you will find a wind current right up to the top of this tower and you will find the next one along with a luxurious chest. Then we can teleport to the Statue of the Seven and move up on the minimap and there's a small gap here so glide downwards and you will find the next one floating above a ruined guard alright after that let's teleport back to the domain and we are heading up on the minimap and from here you will see a wind current on the left side so move towards there and get to the ground level and turn around and you will find the next one hidden inside here. Next, we are going bottom left on the minimap. And when you see a chest here, take a left turn. And you will see this one floating here. Alright, next, let's teleport to this waypoint. And we are heading bottom left on the minimap. And this one is hidden inside this tree. Now let's teleport back. And this one is right above us. Already have their hands full. But first we are going to go bottom left on the minimap. And here you can see a Sealy and behind it you will find an animal pillar. So activate it using your traveler and glide up using these rings. After that we are heading towards this position and you will see it here. Alright now let's teleport to the statue of the seven and offer all the oculus that we have found. After that, let's teleport to this waypoint. And we're going bottom right on the minimap. And this one is right here, so glide over and climb up. After that, we're heading inside the Thousand Winds Temple. And this one is up there. So climb up from this side.
and in front of you there's also a chest. And then we're going top left on the map to this position. And this one is lying on the ground. And for the last one, we're going to climb up from here and we're heading right on the mini map. All the way to this edge of the cliff and you will see this nameless island which is not found on the map. And the last one is located there. And before we start gliding there, here's a few preparations that we need to do if you haven't done so. So first, make sure that your statue of the seven is at the max level. So teleport here and offer every oculi that we have gathered. And you should be able to reach level 10. Because one was obtained as a reward as you do the quest. Sparks amongst the pages where you got to enter a domain. And inside there I'm sure you have already gotten one. Second thing, make sure that you have a food that can restore your stamina in your inventory. And if you don't have, you can teleport to Spring Vale. And then make sure that you adjust the time to daytime. And go ahead and find an NPC called Brook. And from her, you can buy this smoked chicken, and it can restore 50 stamina, which will allow us to glide over. Then finally, let's set up our party. So the most important thing is to bring Amber to your team. Because she has a talent that decreases the gliding stamina consumption by 20%. And additionally, if you have Barbara and you have ascended her to 1 star, then you can also bring her. Since she has a talent that reduces the stamina consumption by 12% when you use her E skill. But that's optional. So when you have all these prepared, let's start gliding. And to be honest, this last one will be one that lies in your inventory and does nothing. So collect this one only for the sake of completeness, otherwise you are free to skip. So let's keep going right on the minimap. And you will see the last one here. So that's all. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. And I'll see you in the next one.